Hi guys, it's me, Vraish, and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Insurgent Fabulosity. In today's video, I am going to show you a, some kind of like collection, um, but it's not a collection because it's not something that I've been collecting for a long time. These are very recent purchases. Uh, shoes that I got at the thrift shop, either Value Village or Talese if you live in Toronto. And so I wanted to come here and show you guys what I got recently because I am trying to build a shoe collection. I have always loved shoes. I used to have, back in the day when Just Five was a thing, I used to have um, a subscription with a, which allowed me to have a new pair of shoes every month. But did I ever wear any of those shoes? You bet your ass, I did not. And the reason why is because those shoes were absolutely beautiful, amazing to look at, they looked amazing in my closet. However, because of the length of the heel, they were extremely uncomfortable for me, simply because I don't really wear heels, and when I do, I prefer them to be like kitten heels. And I think shoes are one of the best way to accessorize like outfits that may be boring. Anyways, this shoe collection, it's all thrifted. I just wanted to show you guys that you can find thrifted things that are absolutely beautiful and timeless. So if you guys like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Give it a big thumbs up because it does help a lot with the algorithm and putting my videos on the map. And so if you would kindly do that, share it on social media, that would be greatly appreciated. And so yeah. <laughs> Let's get right into it. So the first pair of shoes that I wanted to show you are these amazing, just beautiful pair of like white sling back, absolutely stunning shoes. And when I was purchasing this, I was with my best friend and she didn't find them beautiful at all. She didn't understand why I found them beautiful, but I'm really into this just very classic, more grown-up looks lately because I'm still like a t-shirt and jean kind of girl on an everyday basis. However, now I want to make those t-shirt and jean kind of looks just be a little bit more elevated. And I think a good way to do that is with accessories such as shoes or bag. This little peekaboo little hole right here makes it look a little bit more youthful than like a pump, uh, which is usually fully covered. And so yeah, I can't wait to wear these. I've been looking for white shoes for a long time and I couldn't find ones that were like as youthful and playful as this. They're so romantic, absolutely stunning, in amazing quality. They're from this brand called West Avenue. I've never heard of them, but I, can't, I don't know if they're good quality or not, but they feel all right. They feel good quality, they feel sturdy, and um, yeah, I can't wait to wear them. It's gonna be a great time. This summer, I saw a lot of shoes that were square toe, uh, little denty, strappy heels, but that were a little bit more on the kitten side. I don't know how tall this heel is. I'm pretty sure it's like a three, four inch, which is absolutely perfect for me because I like the heel look, but I don't like the discomfort that comes with actually wearing heels. So this, I found them. They're from this brand called Holly N. Never heard of them, but they're very sturdy, very good quality. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be in my closet for a long time, which is a very important factor when I'm shopping for shoes because I don't want anything that's just for a season or a year. I want things that can last so that I can use them over and over again. I also have these strappy heels. Um, the heel size of this one is a little bit shorter. So if that one was a three or four, I, I'm not sure. This is probably like a two or three, I don't know, I can't really tell. The inch is really, really, it's like it's like two inches max. And they're absolutely beautiful. I've seen them a lot on Instagram. If I can find anything remotely close to it, I will just like play it right here. But they are so beautiful. Um, they're very dainty, absolutely feminine. And I love that look because I'm really into that lately, as of late, because um, I like to think I'm very feminine, but I'm not girly. And I think those are two different things. They're from this brand called Fioni, and they're in a size seven. One other trend that I saw a lot this summer which again, I don't know where these people were wearing these shoes, is this like 
um, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like it's like a flip-flop kind of shoe. But there's a tiny little heel right here. It's like a kitten heel. This is like the definition of kitten because it is so small. It's like an inch long, if at all. And I, when I saw these I, at Valley Village, I almost passed out because they were absolutely amazing. They're from the brand Le Chateau, which I'm pretty sure is Canadian, but don't quote me on that. For us. <laughs> Anyway, so I've seen things that are similar to this, but nothing as beautiful as this. I just love how very denty this looks. It's like almost a thong. <laughs> I've worn this before and it was so comfortable and I can't wait for summer to wear it again because you can't tell me nothing in the shoes. Absolutely nothing. The next pair of shoe that I have with me is another sling bag style and I know this are considered quite grown, uh, quite madame, mademoiselle, <laughs> but I'm really into this look right now. If you wear like really quote unquote grown shoes with a very casual outfit, I don't know, it just, I don't know, it's, it's a vibe. What drew me to these shoes? is the color. I don't really consider beige as a nude because it does not match my skin tone. It's not a nude for me. It's a nude for a lot of people, but it's not a nude for me. So when I'm looking for a nude, I'm looking for browns. When I saw it, it was so beautiful. And it's amazing quality. It's absolutely, it's 100% leather, uh, Italian leather. It's made in Italy and it's from the brand Cole Hens. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it properly. These are shoes that will last in my closet for a long time because I'm not getting any younger, honestly. And <laughs> the older I get, the more I get drawn to styles that I used to hate. And I used to think were the ugliest things. Now I see them, I'm just like, ah! <laughs> so The next pair of shoes is kind of the same, um, like flip-flop kind of flip-flop heel kind of shoe these ones are from Steve Madden and when my best friend saw them she spotted them because there was a pair like this that I wanted that was from Browns again at the thrift shop but they didn't fit me because they were size 6 they were too small and I was like whining about it and then she turns around the corner and she sees this she's like how about this and I saw them and I was like oh yes because they blend with my skin tone so well they make me look more elongated my legs look like they're infinite but it also allows my outfit to stand out a little bit more because these are nude for me and yeah they're so pretty and they're so comfortable and i can't wait to wear them um summer honestly cannot come fast enough the next pair of shoe honestly i wasn't even looking for it i was holding i was basically at the thrift shop with my best friend and she wanted this one pair of shoe that we couldn't find the other foot and so i was just browsing around to see if i could find it and the lady that works there comes to me she's like you what is your size? I was like, oh, a size seven. She's like, come here, I have something for you. And she shows me these shoes and I literally freaked out. They are so beautiful. They're so beautiful. And honestly, what sold me on this is the fact that they were not just like any typical brown leather boots. I like the fact that they had like different patches of brown. It gives me more, more just like, options like if I were to wear a brown leather jacket that was a little bit more on the beige on the beige side it will go with it if I was to wear even a black one because of how dark this part is it will go with it so it gives me a little bit more options uh, for outfits it's a little bit too big for me but honestly nothing I can't work with because it's so stunning like I couldn't let it go when she passed it to me I was like thank you May God bless you. Uh, she gave it to me because they didn't fit her. So that's great. Thanks, lady. This next pair of shoe I love. However, it is so slippery, it almost makes it unwearable. Um, in terms of comfort, like walking in them is good. However, if I were to wear this in a place like a mall, because the mall's floors are always so slippery, I would literally slip and fall and die. They are this like snake print like vinyl leather kind of shoe with a very shiny very attention grabbing and i love them i love the shape they are so perfectly shaped they almost feel like they're molded on your foot because of the way they feel there are a six and a half like i said i usually am a six and a half seven 
but this one is not even a six and a half that I have to squeeze into it fits so perfectly the only thing that I don't like about this shoe is the fact that the bottom is so slippery the next pair of shoe that I have here they're from Zara I had a similar pair but not really it's like I don't know what to call them I don't know if to call them a sling bag kind of shoe as well or a closed toe I don't know. I love the buckle accent. It's very 2000s, early 2000s, but I don't know. I really like it. I like the fact that the heel is very short and chunky uh, so that when you walk in them, it feels like you're just wearing normal sandals. You feel grounded, um, but it gives you that, that slight um, elevation and so I can't wait to wear these. So the next pair of shoes is one of my favorite. I've already worn it two to three times and each time I wore them I got compliments on them especially on one day where he was like your shoes are cute. I was like thank you. It's not everybody's cup of tea but I absolutely love them. My friend saw them she's like oh they're okay. I was like excuse me <laughs> these are absolutely beautiful. Um, Again, it's the same like chunky short heel that I really love, so it gives you like that kid feel. Um, and what I really liked, usually I'm not even a colorful person, but the colors here drew me to the shoe because it's so neutral. You can barely notice the shoe on my foot, except for like the color area. I found this to be like the cutest thing ever. I don't understand why anybody wouldn't find these cute. The next pair of shoes I'm about to show you is not for everybody, which is fine if you don't like it, but I absolutely love these shoes and I've worn them to death whenever I could. And they're very like, comme les garçons, and that's what drew me to these shoes. Initially, a friend found them for herself, but it didn't fit her, so I was the next person in line, and I was like, absolutely. They're from Browns which is amazing quality made in Italy, which are made to last. And this shoe literally fits the best. Like, it fits like it was molded to my foot and it was made for me. It's so comfortable. I can walk in these for days. I like when I'm wearing like a very feminine thing, like a dress or a skirt or whatever, just any outfit that's absolutely feminine and then you add such masculine shoes I just feel super cool when I'm wearing boots and I always get compliments I always get like oh my god and like I went to Browns and they were like your shoes are amazing where are they from I'm like from here they're like not anymore we don't have those they're probably like vintage I'm like yes yes they are if you guys like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you want me to continue doing like some kind of collection of thrifted things um, because I have a lot of those <laughs> so if you guys like to see any future videos from me please give it a thumbs up subscribe and share this video on social media so that we can create a community of thrifters and make it a more like mainstream thing um, you know dress stylishly on a budget but also um, being sustainable so yeah I hope to see you guys on my next video and um, bye